Hello everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to my channel. Except for those of you who have happened across my channel for the first time today, in that case, welcome. As I said, I'm Chris, I'm a licensed cosmetologist and a content creator here on YouTube as well as other social media platforms like TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. We'd love for you to join us over there as well. For today's video, I ran to Ulta just a couple of days ago and picked up the ColourPop Celestial Collection. The palette I grabbed is the Coast is Clear palette, sort of mauve purple, definitely my kind of color story. I also picked up the So Glassy Gloss in the shade Epiphany, as well as the Level Up Lengthening Mascara and the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner in the shade Numero Uno. Yeah, it's solid black. So if you would like to see what look I create, as well as how this palette performs, just keep watching. First glance at the palette, it is really cute. It's very, very mauve like I said. There's a little bit of depth in it, but most of it seems like it's mainly mid-tones with a couple of brighter, more highlighty shades. But with this shade being the darkest shade, it's definitely not gonna be great for someone with deep skin. I feel like that might be an exact match to someone with deeper skin. So they really won't be able to add a whole lot of depth. But with the really pretty shimmery shades that are in here, that would be a nice touch on the lid or the brow bone. So it's still workable, it's just not the perfect color story. Then the So Glassy Lip Glass in the shade Epiphany is really cute. It's also nude, but it's got a whole bunch of little tiny pieces of purpley glitter in it. So it gives it a little bit of dimension, makes it a little less nude. Actually, I think there's a bunch of yellow in it too. Purple one direction, yellow the other direction. The liquid liner, of course, is just their standard liquid liner, but it was with all of these products, so I decided to go ahead and grab it along with the mascara. I think the Level Up Lengthening Mascara is a new product, so I'm really curious to see what this wand looks like. It's probably gonna be one one of those fat at the bottom, skinny at the end, long straight ones. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So it should definitely do what it says it's going to do and lengthen the lashes. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and we'll get started on priming the eyes. For today, I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base. This one's in the shade Medium. I'm thinking maybe a halo eye or a spotlight. P.S. If you would like to save some coin on a Gerard Cosmetics purchase, you can use code CHRISTOPHERJMUA to save 30%. There's also an affiliate link in the description down below. If you want to use that link as well, you can save some money that way. Or if a product is already super discounted and my code doesn't work, you can use that link to ensure that I still get credit for the purchase. If you're that kind of person and that's what you're doing. If not, that's okay too. Just go to GerardCosmetics.com. I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to be uploaded, but I am filming it right at the end of June. So I'm curious, how did you guys' Pride Month go? Did you do anything fun for Pride? Like go to any Pride parades or anything like that? We did have a Pride parade in town. Unfortunately, we were not able to make it. I had gotten two root canals like three days before the parade, so I was really not feeling up to much of anything. All I did for like four or five days was chill at the house and play some Xbox. Oh, some Xbox have I been playing. I've got the Xbox Game Pass, so I'll go through and just delete a bunch of games that are on my hard drive and just download a bunch of new ones. For the longest time, I was stuck on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I love me some Greek history, Greek mythology, all that jazz. So it was really fun to play a game that was themed in that era, but I got bored with it, so it was time to move on. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic, I digress. Now back to eyeshadow. So to begin, I'm gonna use a big fluffy pointed brush and go into this shade right here called Set On You. Set On You? Oh, like I'm, I'm set on you. Okay, I was thinking like, why would they name a shade set on you? Now this is one of those sequin shades from ColourPop. It's very, very glittery, but it's also matte. So we're gonna get to see if that glitter is gonna come through or if it's just going to look matte. And at first with the shade, I'm gonna start tapping off the excess just so it doesn't build up a whole lot of pigment super quickly, but I'm gonna take it all the way across the crease from outer corner all the way to inner corner. Okay, is there any glitter so far? Mmm. There actually is a few pieces. Wow, I didn't expect that. I expected it to be primarily matte. They've 
Why are you barking? Is Timmy stuck in a well? The reason why I'm trying to build this slowly and not pack on a whole bunch of color really quickly is so that A, I can watch it build and it's not way too much, way too fast. And B, I don't really want it to be all that pigmented. I want it to just sort of set the base because if I'm gonna do a halo shape, then I wanna have some kind of base down to make the transition between the dark shade on the outer corner and the inner corner make sense in my crease. Okay, base tone is laid down everywhere, and I think it's kind of cute. It's very, very neutral, very nude, sort of mauve a little bit, but not very much. And the glitter is not super obvious. I feel like in the sunlight, maybe it would be a little bit more obvious, but still not very intense. Now I'm gonna take this shade called Home at the bottom, and I'm gonna use that to deepen up the crease and add just a little bit of dimension, but I'm not gonna carry it up any farther than that. Hence why I'm now using this teeny tiny bullet crease brush or inner corner highlight brush. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, this shade is really lacking. I can't really get it to show that dimension. That's okay though, I'll just keep packing. It did deepen it up just a little bit, as you can see, but I definitely need to go in with the first brush I was using and just blend out these edges so it's not so intense. Cute, I like it. Now we're gonna take this darkest shade. This one is called For Sure, and that's gonna be what's gonna make the halo effect really dramatic. So all we're gonna do with this is put it on the outer corner and the inner corner. That looks really good. I feel like I could even leave it like this and just put a little bit of concealer, some translucent powder on top and leave it matte. And it will look really beautiful because it has that depth, has that dimension, but we have to go further than that. Let me finish this eye and we'll move on to shimmer. I believe I'm done with the matte shades now. I feel like we have some drama, some dimension. It's a little more interesting. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Gerard Cosmetics base, just a tiny little bit, and apply that right on the center where the spotlight is a spotlight. And because I've got hooded lids, I need to relax my forehead, open my eyes, look straight forward. See, like right now, none of the shimmer would actually show because I didn't cut it high enough. So I'm gonna take it just a little bit higher. And let's see, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. That way you can actually see the work that I put into this look rather than it just being hidden away by my hooded lids. Haha, <laughs> that looks really cool. Even just like that. I love looks like this. So for shimmer shades, I went ahead and swatched all five of them so you guys could see what they look like a little bit better. Come on, focus. Okay, now I think we're good. So swatches, again, that's what they look like. I feel like the middle three are super, super similar. I mean, really the only difference is the actual undertone, but this shade right here, this silvery kind of shade, that is the one that's calling my name. So naturally, that's what I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, holy crap, that is a super intense silver. Whoa, oh I love that so much. Ooh. So again, using the flat brush that I used with a darker shade earlier, I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that shade and just very gently go over the edges. I really like how this turned out already. Looks extra dramatic whenever I stretch out my forehead and my hooded lids aren't destroying everything, but once I relax, you can still see the shimmer and it makes my heart so happy. I'm gonna pop off camera real quick, clean up these edges, make a nice sharp line so we can go in with the eyeliner next. Eyeliner time! I don't even know if you can see it, but I did actually make a clean line that I could follow on both sides, but the base is so close to my skin tone that I really don't know that you can see it. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that seemed to blow out really big. Did I do that or did it just get really wide that fast? I don't know. Oh, it's so new. That's what it is. It's very liquidy because it's just super, super new and pigmented. I think that's about good though on the size. As long as I can connect that in without having that extra little zhuzhy spot there, we shall see. That's not too bad. It is so, so black. And I think it pairs with this spotlight 
perfectly. I mean, that looks really cool, having this sort of like wispy silver coming out with the wing pulling it in that direction too. I should have made this side go a little more outward, like this one does. But I don't want to mess it up, so I'm going to go ahead and go off camera, finish up the other eye with the eyeliner, then we'll check out the Level Up Lengthening Mascara. Hopefully it will be lengthening, because I need some drama in the lashes for this look. Woohoo! Eyeliner is now done. And I did have to make this side just a little bit bigger so that it would match this side, but now they're pretty close, at least. Alas, it is time to try the lengthening mascara. Level up, level up, lengthening mascara. Let me zoom you guys in one more time. Focus. Oh, it's on manual focus. Why does that keep happening? Okay, automatic focus. There we go. Oh. Hold on, I need to fix that. Better! Oh, but now I see a little bump here. Can I fix that? Okay, sometimes this OCD can be very debilitating. The eyeliner is done. I'm telling myself it's done. Now let's curl these lashes real quick. Now, ColourPop, show me the drama. And the length. Specifically the drama. Well, I can agree with their lengthening claims. They definitely do appear longer. However, I feel like I'm missing a little bit because I like volume too. Really, I've got the length going on already for me. Volume is what I love. Building up that volume, especially at the root of the lashes, making them look so much thicker. It's my favorite part about mascara. Let's see if we can build it up a little bit. Maybe it will. Second coat doesn't really change much. It did make them a little bit more intense, but really not a lot. But that's okay, they're still cute. They are still dramatic lashes, just not as dramatic as I want them to be. I'm gonna pop off camera one more time. Go ahead and finish the other eyes mascara, get it to match this one, and go ahead and do all of my face makeup, and we'll come back to finish off with the gloss. Then I'll be able to give you guys my final thoughts on the ColourPop Celestial Collection. Everything is now completed except the So Glassy Lip Glass. Lip gloss? Lip glass, lip gloss. And you know what, I'm just gonna go right on top of my cakey concealer lip. Why not? It'll add a little bit of brightness to the lip or whatever, I don't know. Ooh, that is very nudie, for sure. Maybe I should wipe the concealer off of my lips because this gloss does not look very good. And for now, I'm just going to blame it on the concealer and the foundation. I'm just going to assume it's making it look all cakey and gross. Now I can actually see my lip color, which funny enough, this looks very close to my lip color. This is more of a brown and obviously my lips are a little bit more of a pink, but I think maybe the concealer lip was not the right way to go. Oh yeah, that is already better. It feels feels better already, but it also looks better already. Ooh, I can kind of see the sparkly glitter pieces in it. You know, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say as this is like so glassy as intensely as the other lip glass kind of products I've used, but it is very reflective and it does give kind of that crystal glass sort of vibe. Just the consistency wasn't nearly as thick as what I'm used to from glassy products, but it does look really good. So all in all, with everything applied and done, this is the finished look. So what do you guys think? I think all in all, the palette was fun. It's cute. It's more on the neutral side. It's a little more nudie. Obviously, I got something a little more silver and punchy out of it, but it is primarily mauve nude. Doesn't have a whole lot of dimension. You can't get super, super dark. That's about as dark as you can get. But for someone with medium skin or lighter, you can probably get a lot of different looks out of this. There are actually two other palettes in this collection. They are these palettes right here. I chose not to get those because they're just a little more nudey than I like. I like to go mauve purple nude because that's who I am. <laughs> it works better with my green eyes anyway. And oddly enough, I didn't use hardly any mauve colors except that middle one up at the top just to get a nice transition shade down. But regardless, it was a fun, cute little collection. It's affordable. It doesn't cost a whole lot. So I'm game to pay the money that I did for it without a complaint. The mascara is just kind of meh to me because I like something that's going to give me length and 
and volume, but more specifically volume. Nine times out of 10 when I use a volumizing mascara, once it builds up the volume, the length just kind of happens already. So I don't really need something like this specifically, but you may, you may need that extra lengthening boost. The liner is amazing as always, just like every other time I've bought it and used it. And we already talked about the gloss. So those are my final thoughts. Again, let me know yours in the comments down below. You guys know that I'm always hanging out down there with you, just chilling, just talking. So let's talk. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, then please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and to never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.